Welcome back guys, so today we will talk about the Google Pixel 7a. Now I'm recording in 4K and 60 frames per second, but you can trim that down to 1080p and 60 frames as well. And right now I'm on the standard video stabilization. Now later on we will talk about more about that and the camera, some specs, the design. But first off, let's check out what we get inside the box. All right, so once we open up the box, the first thing that shows up is the smartphone. I took the coral colorway, but this one is also available in the colors Snow White, Charcoal Black, and Sea Blue. Underneath the phone, we get a normal Type-C charging cable without the charging brick and a small extra adapter for a USB Type-A. And as for less, the usual paper stuff and a SIM card remover. Now let's take a look at the, the design and some of the specs. So right here we get a rather small 6.1 inch auto display with HDR10 support. On the back we get our two camera lenses. One is a 64 megapixel main camera and the other one is a 30 megapixel ultra wide. And of course on the front we get a selfie camera as well with 30 megapixel. So on the back we get that red on red Google logo right in the middle and further up you get that camera that are mounted on a separate element that is aluminum right here and that goes all across the display. Pretty typical for a Google phone. I would say that we get a rather thick smartphone with an aluminum frame, Corning Gorilla Glass 3 on the front and a plastic back. Now the Pixel 7a does come with some black bases all around the phone. They are pretty even, just the one on the chin is a little bit thicker, but really nothing that I would complain about. Now if you get a little bit deeper into the display and the audio, the Google Pixel 7a finally get a 90Hz display that we first have to toggle on over in the display settings. As I mentioned, the 6.1 inch all the display has got HDR10 support and because of the display is a little bit smaller, all of the colors look very poppy, we get crisp resolutions. Nice contrast thanks to the older display and this phone is great for whenever you want to watch some videos on YouTube, Crunchyroll, Netflix, Amazon Prime or whatever. The viewing angles also don't really change at all if you tilt the phone to either side and I wouldn't say that the small selfie camera on the top end of the phone gets in the way while I'm watching some videos. Now when it comes to the audio, the Pixel 7a does support a stereo speaker setup as well so let's give this one a try. A look at all of the features, how long your battery will last with and without the solar energy, sport modes and accuracy of the built-in GPS. Now the speakers on this one are not the loudest but you will still be able to clearly hear everything that is going on on the phone as long as you don't have some very loud background noises. But the quality of the audio is great. Unfortunately, we don't get a headphone jack on the bottom or on the top of the phone and we have to live with the USB Type-C port. When it comes to the battery, Google crumped in a 4384 mAh battery inside of this phone and that's just a tiny snitch smaller than what we had with the last year version, the Pixel 6a. And I have to say that the battery life is not overwhelming. I've heard that many already have problems just to get through the day on a single charge. Now, it wasn't like that in my case. From the start, I could get through the day without any problems and I was testing this phone quite a bit, like texting, watching videos on YouTube, testing out the camera and playing my car racing games, again, for testing purposes. So this phone actually does quite well in my opinion, but I can't say the same for the charging speed. Now this one supports wireless charging, which we rarely see on phones in this price region, but 18 watts Fast charging is really not that fast, so make sure that you plug this bugger up during the night. All right, next up we got the features and Android 13. So Google promised a full five years of updates for this bad boy, which is really a lot. Now I noticed that on my 128 gigs version, 14 gigs are already used up by the system, so you gotta have that in the back of your mind. Unfortunately, there is no way to expand your storage via SD card, nor is there a bigger storage version of this phone. So you are pretty limited when it comes to that. All right, so what about all of the features on the Pixel 7a? Now, I don't wanna to talk too much about Android 13 since everyone should already know about this one by now, but you get your standard fingerprint sensor and I have to say that it works actually quite well. <laughs> there we go. And if that doesn't work to get, if you have wet fingers or something like that, you still have a face detection and this one should work as well. So there we go. Of course, this phone comes with a whole lot of Google apps like Drive, Google TV, Home, 
files and so on but no real crap like what we get with many other smartphones now if you don't have a vpn already you have one with the google pixel phone in your google one settings in your vpn settings you can toggle this one on a great small feature for more security in your web browsing now once you toggle on the live captions you can watch videos from youtube or even just some voice messages and your phone will instantly translate it to your preferred language the same goes for the text on pictures. Just hold up your camera and it will translate anything in the language that you choose. Also something that is actually pretty cool and that is that you can match your app icons to your wallpaper and style. So if you have a blue or red wallpaper style and if you click on themed icons, your icons will now match to your wallpaper. Of course, there are also many more Android 13 specific features like the quick tap, just double tap the back of your phone twice to take a screenshot or open up any app. You have a lift to check your phone, a one handed mode, you can quickly open up the camera by double pressing your power button and so on. So the Google Pixel 7a actually has the same processor as the Pixel 7 and the Pixel 7 Pro from last year, which means everything runs super smooth. The Google Tensor G2 is just a beast. All of your apps open without any lag and your games feel great. First of all, you have a game booster on this phone that allows you to put your phone in a high performance mode for the ultimate gaming experience, but you can also take screenshots during your games, you can screen record and many other things. Now when it comes to actually playing, there's nothing to complain. The game has no lags, not even if a lot happens at once on your display with cars crashing, mini visuals and animations. The screen might not be the biggest, which is the reason why I wouldn't get the phone as a gaming phone since a bigger screen means more gaming fun. But besides that, it's a great phone when it comes to the performance. Now the cameras on the Google Pixel 7a are once again excellent. So you get many different camera modes such as in portrait mode that even works with the ultra wide angle lens. You can capture videos in 4K and 1080p with 60 frames per second. Also right here you can change between a time lapse and a slow motion without having to find the right mode first. And as well as you have a panorama, your Google lens and photosphere. So right here I have some pictures for you guys. The portrait mode looks great in my opinion. And a special thing right here is that you can retouch your face a little bit to get rid of your pimples or wrinkles and you definitely see the difference. All the other pictures look great on your 64 megapixel main camera. You have a good contrast and your colors are poppy and very vivid. Also the background blur on your portraits isn't too much and I just really like how the pictures came out. Now right here I have some videos on how good the main camera can capture videos in 4K and 1080p and also how good the camera stabilization actually works. First the standard stabilization and then afterwards the sport mode and both came out pretty good. But here you go. All right, so let's check out how the camera or how the stabilization in the active mode is working. So right now I'm working pretty normally, but let's see how much this camera shakes if I'm starting to jog. So I'm trying to keep everything as still as possible and we gotta see the results. Now, just as a little comparison, now I'm jogging with the camera stabilization and the standard mode. So let's see if there is any difference. So I'm gonna start jogging now. Just a few meters, that should do the trick. Now I've also covered many other smartphones similar to the Pixel 7a. Just click that video right here to get right to them. And I guess with that being said, I will see you in the next one. Peace.